Hey everyone, so today we are going to take a closer look at the 5 surprise toy mini brands made by Zero. I ordered 3 so we are going to unbox 15 different surprises today. These are my first toy mini brands so I hope we don't get too many doubles. And after my unboxing I'm going to talk about the quality, the price, the collector's value and the play value. Our first surprise is really cute. It is a Nickelodeon Slime Hyper Blaster. I've never seen that before in store. On the back you can see that there is a description of the item and a tiny barcode. I don't know if uh, you would be able to read it. It's really really small. Our second surprise are these Criola Ultra Clean Washable Markers. There's not much to see, it's just an empty package and it's pretty wonky already. Um, on the back of the product you can see the description, just like on the wheel, item and a little barcode. Our third surprise are these uh, crazy Zero Bunchy Balloons, so they are just water balloons and um, there's some kind of foam in the package so it feels like there is something in there. And the back is also pretty detailed with all the descriptions like on the real product. Our next surprise is totally cute. It is a fingerling and it reads something like I think it is baby monkey in the right corner. It is pretty small. I really can't read it. On the back you can see there is a description of the item but our fingerling is cut in half so I would not recommend opening the package. You should just leave it as it is. It's cute anyways. Now on to our last surprise of our first toy mini brands. This one is a bit heavier. I think it contains the guide. Our last surprise is a rainbow corn. I've never seen them in store so I'm not sure what it is. It reads 7 wild styles to collect. I think they are some kind of plushies. On the back you can see uh, pictures of the different plushies you can collect. And there's this little horn on top. It is actually made out of plastic, so it's a uh, really great quality. There are ultra wear doors, which are golden, some uh, glow in the dark items, but we didn't get any so far. There are some metal ones. I think our fingerling isn't metal, I think it's a normal one. And there are uh, quite a few common items, so I think we only got common items like the ultra clean washable markers we got.
now we got the one I wanted so it's Ang, the little avatar and I think it's really cute but the package is a bit wonky too on the back you can see the different dolls that you could collect but in the Sewer 5 surprise series there's only Ang. Our second surprise are these Crayola crayon colors. It's just an empty package so it's not much to see here. And now we got washable tempera uh, also made by Crayola and this toy is made out of plastic. And on the back there is a description of the item and also a little barcode. Here we got another empty package. It's a ready to roll Blaze Speedway. I've never seen them in store so I'm not sure how the toy actually looks like. And on the back you can see the description. And here we got another empty package from Teeny Genie, um, Shimmer and Shine Genies and it's some kind of playset. I already saw the dolls in stores but I've never seen the playset so I don't know how it looks like because um, the pictures are really small and it's pretty hard to see. So on to our last toy mini brands and I hope we don't get any doubles. And we already got this one, it's a bunch of balloons package again. This time we got a little crispy. It says all sport on the front and on the back there is a guide how to use the frisbee if you didn't know that. Our next surprise is this Robo Alive snake. I think the snake is supposed to move and it is actually cut in half so it's not the whole snake in this package but otherwise it is pretty cute. Our next surprise is this little Miposaur. It's a robotic dinosaur I think it's supposed to move and it is made out of plastic and there's the complete Miposaur in this package. It's really cute. I think you're not able to see it because um, the package is pretty shiny and you can only see the reflection. On the back you can see the description and all the information about the toys like on all the other items. I actually really like this one. On to our last surprise. Oh. And we got another double, it's the Crayola Ultra Clean Washable Markers again. And this package is also a little bit damaged. And otherwise there's not much to see. So let's talk about what I think about the 5 surprise toy mini brands. We managed to get 13 different toys. It could have been worse, but those were my first toy mini brands, so it was unlikely to get a lot of doubles. I think the overall idea of the toy mini brands is really good. I mean, I love my tiny Ang, the fingerling and the snake, but I'm actually not a big fan of the empty packages. The quality isn't good, they are wonky and I think they will be damaged easily. Maybe they would last longer if there was some kind of cardboard or film in the empty packages. There is some kind of film in the bunch of balloons and it fits really much better than the other empty packages. If you got children, I'm sure they would love to give those tiny toys to their dolls. But you should keep in mind that those cardboard boxes won't last long if you play with them. 
they seem to be a toy for display purposes only um, on the other hand the plastic toys are really cute and I would have loved to have them as a child so for all those reasons I'm giving the toy mini brands a 4 out of 5 for the play value let's talk about the collector's value the toys are really cute and I would love to collect more of them but as an adult collector I'm not really interested in the empty packages I'm going to display them but I'm not happy about getting so many of these so I'm giving the collector's value a 4 out of 5 too I think the price of the toy mini brands is pretty high for what you're getting they cost about $6.99 at Walmart. If there were 5 plastic toys in each capsule, the price would be good. But with all those empty packages, I think they are actually a bit overpriced. So for the price, I'm giving them a 3 out of 5. Last but not least, let's talk about the quality. The quality of the little plastic toys is amazing. There are so many details on those packages and the tiny figures are really cute. But the quality of the empty packages is really not good. So I'm giving the quality a 4 out of 5. They put so much effort in the details but forgot about the durability. But overall I really like the Toy Mini brands. If you want to see more unboxings in the future, feel free to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any new videos.